air travel is important. And as more Americans return to the skies, problems for passengers with disabilities are once again on the rise. This video will take you through a typical flight for a traveler who uses a wheelchair and give you an up-close real-life look into the challenges and experiences they face. Planning for a flight with a wheelchair requires travelers to make plans beyond simply purchasing a ticket and showing up at the airport. Such travelers typically contact the airline the day before the flight to remind them that they will be traveling with a wheelchair and will need an aisle chair. Many full-time wheelchair users fast or begin the process of dehydrating themselves to avoid accidents because most airplane bathrooms are inaccessible. Most travelers who use wheelchairs must get to the airport early on the day of their flight. Many choose to drive themselves, while others take public transportation or accessible taxis, if they are available. Airports are busy places, with many hazards and obstructions making it hard to navigate with a disability. Just like other travelers, people with disabilities often need to check bags upon arriving at the airport. They also typically need to make sure the airline is aware of any accommodations that they will need. At check-in, kiosks may be difficult to navigate and counters are often too high. Additionally, screening devices are not wheelchair accessible. TSA agents are called to inspect chairs and perform a very invasive pat-down of the traveler. Often, there are significant delays in getting this type of screening. Pat-downs can damage necessary equipment and are especially demeaning. Travelers who use wheelchairs typically check in at the gate to reconfirm that an aisle chair will be available when it is time to board. These passengers are later invited to pre-board the flight. They take a steep ramp down to the aircraft to be transferred into an aisle chair by airline contractors or personnel. Airline contractors or personnel are often not properly trained or equipped to assist travelers who use wheelchairs. Aisle chairs are very narrow and easy to fall off of. Once inside the aircraft, the traveler is wheeled down the aisle and either transfers themselves or is lifted from the aisle chair into their assigned seat. Unfortunately, boarding the plane is too often an unsafe process leaving some travelers with bruises, scratches, and serious injuries. Meanwhile, the traveler's wheelchair is stored underneath the plane and treated like any other piece of luggage. Personal wheelchairs are crucial to travelers who need them to maintain their independence. Roughly 14,000 wheelchairs were damaged, delayed, or lost in 2019 and 2020. On an average long-haul flight, the average passenger visits the lavatory 2.4 times. For travelers with mobility impairments, visiting the restroom is often not an option. When looking at the top eight U.S. airlines, only 4.5% of their single aisle airplanes had accessible restrooms in 2019. Four airlines didn't have any at all. After the plane lands, all passengers deboard. Sometimes there are delays in getting proper assistance to deplane. And 
and once again, airline contractors or personnel assist the traveler by transferring them back into the aisle chair. Once onto the jetway, they're forced to wait for their wheelchair to be unloaded from beneath the plane and brought to them. Air travel for people with wheelchairs can be dangerous, leaving many with broken chairs that are haphazardly patched back together on the spot, which can further injure travelers. After so many extended wait times, travelers with mobility impairments often find their luggage has been moved from the baggage carousel to a holding station. Once their wheelchair and baggage have been retrieved, they must wait yet again for accessible transportation to take them to their final destination, often a hotel. Too often, wheelchair accessible hotel shuttles are limited as are accessible taxis. Air travel should be accessible for all. To learn more about what PVA is doing to help improve air travel access and to read some of the stories featured throughout this video, please visit pva.org backslash air travel.